if you watch my first two-person Prius build, I had a table here that I used the cook stove on. So I don't have it anymore, so I'm trying to make another template for one. So I'm using some leftover Reflectix to just kind of figure out how I want it. I think that's about right. And then I have a piece of plywood I'm going to cut. piece doesn't need to be yeah uh, it's brutal working with reflectics in the sun it keeps blinding you I don't want it this big so I'm gonna cut this off and then this is gonna end up going up so I'll have to cut it here I think I'm just gonna keep chopping away at it so it gets right A little, a little long. Whenever I'm making a template, I'll, I'll label it. It says left and this says right. Just so you don't have to keep thinking about it when you pick it up. But before, the piece fit right here. So I want that to happen again. So that should work. Alright, I think that should do it. So if I make a mistake on a template and I don't want to do the whole template over, say if it's a little short right here, just take my marker and put an arrow to show that I need that to go out a little bit more. And I'll do that on the board. When I trace it, I'll just go out a little bit more. And then I'll just adjust it on the board. So I never used Reflectix as a template before, but it works kind of good. I mean, it's kind of expensive, but if you have some left over, like I did, it should work. That came out great for the first try. Uh, this is just where the battery died, so I'm just gonna smooth this out. I'm gonna sand it really good too, make it a little flatter. I don't know if I need it that big. So you want the temp you want the table wide enough that it presses this door open. So if I open this door more, it can't really, you know, so and it can't shut. So that way if it's windy your table's not gonna fall. Cause this is where I will use a cook stove. And what I will do is I, I usually duct tape around the edges here so it doesn't scratch the car. Yeah, maybe right there. I don't know if I need this big area back here or not. I guess it can't hurt. Let me see. Let's see if it fits. Yeah, it fits there. But you know what, it seems too big. I think I'll cut it down some. Take a teeny bit off of here, rubbing a little bit. Just a little bit. And I feel like I don't need so much over here. So I'll curve this around like that. Take some of the bulk away, but I do want it to come out like this, so that I think that'll be good. Uh, maybe I'll even curve this around more like that. I'm gonna join that curve. There we go. That should do it. There we go. That's kind of the final fit, I think. in here. That's good. It's not going to interfere with us laying in bed. There we 
we go. And that should work. Now some duct tape. The tape actually helps it grip a little bit too, so it won't slide. That's good, the door opens. It only moves a little bit. Perfect. Thanks for watching.